Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to my live. Thank you for watching. Hope everybody's doing great. I can't believe it's Tuesday again. These weeks are just flying by. So today is Tuesday. It's September 13th. Uh, my name is Laura Roderick. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. And again, I just want to thank you for watching, whether it's live on my Facebook page or later um, watching the replay or on YouTube. Um, if you're on, say hello. Um, I'm excited about the projects I have for this week. I think they're really fun. Um, they're colorful and they're happy. They're all happy birthday cards. Um, one is a shaker card, one is a gift card holder. So I think they're really fun projects this week. I'm just waiting a second to let a couple people hop on. Make sure I come up on Facebook. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, perfect. All right. Well, I think we should just go ahead and get started. Um, so let me turn my camera down and I'll show you what we're gonna work on tonight. All right, let me just get this in position. Tighten it up a little bit, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, good, I think that looks pretty good. So, let me show you first the stuff we're gonna be working with tonight. And this is the set we're gonna be working with. It's this birthday piggy, and it's this cute little stamp set. And the fun thing about this is, I kinda, when I first saw this one, I was kinda passing it by and I thought, mm, I don't know, I'm never one of those um, people that loves the cartoony type um, ones um, with the animals and stuff, but you know, I thought it was cute. But then Stampin' Up! ran a promotion, and it's just in September, called Perfect Partners. And um, now they come, you can get the dies to go with it. And once I saw the dies, I mean, these dies are just so adorable. They've got a little wagon, they've got banners. Um, little things like a little scarf for the pig, all kinds of really cute dyes. So then I said, yeah, I definitely have to get this set. It's just really cute. Um, if you bundle the dyes and the stamp set together, you get 10% off. And like I said, um, there's seven, six different sets you can get. And they were all stamps in the annual catalog. And now they have dyes to go with them. And that's just through the 30th of September. So really fun, really good deal. Um, I'm excited to play with these tonight. So let me show you what we're gonna make. So we have this cute little shaker card, which is a little happy birthday, little piggy on a scooter with his happy birthday banner, which I think is really cute. Um, I've got this one, I had to use the wagon somehow because I thought, oh, that wagon is just so cute. So we've got our little birthday piggy in a wagon card. And then this one is our gift card holder. And there's the little piggy again with the cake and the balloon. And then on the inside, there's a little piggy just kind of waddling in the mud in his happy place. Um, and then we just have a little gift card holder um, that you could slide a gift card into if you wanted. So that makes a really nice card for somebody. All right, so let's get started on our cards. We're gonna start with the shaker card first. All right, and let me show you up close. This is the stamp set. It's got the three piggy images, lots of fun sentiments. And then these are the cute dies, um, and I have a couple of them out already because I'm going to be using them. Look at the little grass die. That's really fun. Um, it's got a nice label die in it, a uh, little handle, all kinds of little flowers, all kinds of really fun things um, to easily cut out your paper. All right, in addition for this first set, um, I'm going to use the Stylish Shapes dies, and I use these a lot just because they're so handy. And I'm going to be using um, this, a couple of these square dies, and I'm also using a couple of the little banner dies. And they're nice because they have the little, it's not really stitching, it's like dotting going around. So this is really fun. We're going to use this to make the shaker part. So let's go ahead and get out our pieces. Okay. So we're starting with the Tahitian Tide cardstock. This is one of the in colors for this year. And this is our standard half sheet of cardstock. So it's eight and a half, cut at five and a half, and then scored at four and a quarter. And this card is gonna open this way. 
Then we've got a piece of the designer series paper and I thought this was a fun print and kind of took my colors from um, this little polka dot print because it has the blue in it and has the pink and I had to do some pink for the cute little pig, right? So let me show you this paper. This paper is from this huge pack and this is the Celebrate Everything pack. And I've, I've showed this to you guys before because we've used this before. And it's got just really fun patterns and colors. And when they say Celebrate Everything, there's Christmas ornaments, um, there's fireworks, all kinds of fun stuff in here um, to play with. And you can see I've kind of already started pulling mine apart and using it for different things. So um, there's the fall leaves we used with the Cheerful Basket. Um, so really fun paper, super versatile pack. Um, that you can use for all kinds of things. So that's what I cut this, and this is just five and a quarter by four that we're gonna put um, our first layer on. So the other pieces, I just have a scrap of basic white that we're gonna do our stamping and die cutting. I took those square dies, and let me just show you. I just took, let me pull these out. I took the two biggest ones, and when I cut out, um, this is polished pink cardstock. You can see I just lined both of them up like this, the bigger one and the smaller one. So one inside, and I ran it through my die cutting machine, and this is what I came up with. I have a frame and a little background. So that was super easy. And then the banner dies for our banners. And then I cut a piece of um, this window sheet. And Stampin' Up! sells this, it's only $5, and you get these big 12 by 12 um, clear sheets. So this is super handy if you want to make a shaker card. And this is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. All right, so we're gonna assemble that. Before we start any assembly though, let us um, let us start stamping. So I'm gonna get out my Memento Black because we're gonna be doing some coloring of our cute little pig. And I'm gonna take this first stamp, which is the little piggy on the scooter. And let's ink that up. And then we're going to start coloring. So let me bring in my blends. Now, if you haven't worked with these blends markers before, these are super fun markers um, to work with. So I'm going to bring a bunch of colors over for us to use. Let's see, I don't need all of them just yet. Probably don't need the pinks and the purples. So um, when I was deciding what color I wanted my pigs to be, I played with a couple of the different pinks and where I landed was on Flirty Flamingo. And that's because I wanted something really kind of a dark pink. I wanted it to um, not be too light. I wanted him to kind of stand out. I don't know if it's a him or a her. I keep calling them a him. It could be a him. All right, so let's start by coloring the pig. And I'm gonna start with my light. Flirty Flamingo, and that's just a really pretty pink, isn't it? So I'm just gonna start quickly coloring, and then I'm gonna add a little blending. I'm gonna make use the darker shade of it to do some of the ear detail and the snout, and then I'm gonna start bringing in some of the darker color towards the back um, and other places that I think should be shaded. I'm gonna do um, his tail in the darker color as well, and then I'll get the light and kind of blend those colors in so you don't have those lines in between. That's it, super easy to color a cute little pig, right? I think he looks pretty good. Oops, I just got, I'm gonna have to flip that over, I got some marker on my card base. Okay. Next, I wanna do the scooter, and I'm gonna kinda of, uh, use the Tahitian tie to match the card sack that we have for the base of our card. So again, I'm gonna start with the light and just color in some of these areas of the scooter. And then I'm just gonna accent, I'm not gonna do a lot of blending on this one, I'm just gonna kinda of do the accents in a little bit of the darker shade. You can use any colors, any markers that you want to do your coloring. You don't have to use these shades, you don't have to use these markers, just use what you have. Uh, it's just coloring and it's fun. All right, then I'm gonna take some smoky slate and this is the light smoky slate because that's the closest thing that I have to silver, right? So I'm just gonna do a little bit of the accents on the bike, the hubcaps, and a couple of the little other accents, the little top of the pole. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for that color. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of Daffodil Delight in the light and just do the headlight. And then I'm gonna do my banner in this yellow too. I think this is a nice happy color combination, nice and bright. Then I'm gonna just start coloring in the little bits of confetti that the little piggy leaves behind while he's driving. And let me pull out my blue again and color in these little pieces of confetti also. And a little bit of my flirty flamingo back. I should have done that while I had it out um, to color in these other little pieces. And just add a little bit of fun color behind. All right. And I also missed a piece with the smoky slate. Hold on, I'm getting my colors confused. Okay, now I have black. You can use any black. This is the light basic black of the blends, but obviously you could use any black you want. You could use a Sharpie if you wanted to, to color in the wheels. There's also a wheel die if you wanted to just die cut the wheels. And we'll do that in one of the other ones. I think we're doing that. Okay, and our pig is just about done. I'm just gonna add a little bit of ground and I'm gonna do that in the light crumb cake. So pigs love mud and it looks like he's riding his little motorbike and a little bit of dirt. So it doesn't matter how I do on the bottom because this is all gonna get cut out anyway. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. We're done coloring. The next thing we have to do is um, cut our little piggy out. And these dies are amazing. They just fit perfectly. You can see how this lines up. And so easy to cut this little pig out. No fussy cutting needed. Let me get a piece of post-it tape to hold it in place. And then we'll send it through our die cutting machine. Okay. I'm gonna use the mini because it fits really nice up on my desk with the camera. And I'm just gonna put it between my plates and send it on through. You can hear it crackling as it cuts the paper. Look at that. It, it, keeps a nice cute little white outline going around it. It just cuts it so perfectly. So there's our little friend, all ready to be put on our card. Um, we're going to stamp a couple of the sentiments again in the memento. So I'm gonna pull out our little banners that I've already die cut. I've got a pink one and I have a Tahitian tied one. And on this one, we're gonna say enjoy the ride, which is a perfect sentiment, right, for this little bite guy. Let me see, do I have this high enough that y'all can see it? I don't wanna have it too high or I won't be able to get it in the middle. All right, enjoy the ride. And then there's a cute little wee sentiment that I'm gonna stamp onto this little banner right here. Okay. All right, I think we have all of our pieces ready. So we're gonna start with our DSP layer and go ahead and put that on. Oops. We'll center that right on our card. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is figure out where we want this to go. And it's gonna be in the middle, but up a little bit because we wanna have room for our sentiment. So I think we're gonna put the shaker part right about here. So I'm just gonna adhere that down also with a little bit of the stamp and seal. That looks pretty good, just maybe a little bit lower, like right about there. Okay. All right, now we're gonna start assembling our um, shaker part. And I do have this cute little banner that I'm gonna put just going across. This is gonna be in the inside of the shaker. So let me just add a little bit of glue and I'm gonna glue that down right there. We'll let that dry for a minute. Okay, so you can make a shaker card pretty much out of any shape. Hold on while I 
bump in my knees here. I like to sit Indian style, which I know is weird to sit like that at a desk, but. So this is gonna be the top part. So I'm gonna start by adhering this sheet of window to the back of this um, frame that I cut out. And I think what I'm gonna do is use some seal. So I'm just getting out my silicone mat so any extra glue is gonna go on my mat. You could use the regular Tombow glue for this also, um, but this is instant. I don't have to wait for it to dry, so I think that's why I'm gonna try using that. All right, if I can unstick it from my fingers, we'll be in good shape. All right, now I could have cut this just a little bit smaller, but if anything sticks out, we can just trim it with our scissors. The main thing is just to get it around the opening so that the opening is covered, right? So that's not bad. Not a bad job on that. I have a little bit maybe sticking off, but I don't think that's, maybe just trim it just a tiny bit. It's really not even that noticeable. And I think that's good. All right, so now we have our window piece. So the next thing we're gonna do is Stampin' Up! sells the foam tape strips. So this is foam adhesive strips. And you can see they're very skinny. So this is what we're gonna use on the outside of our frame. So I'm just gonna peel these off. And just like the dimensions, they're like dimensionals, except they're little strips, right? So I'm gonna peel off the one side and just put it on the back. And then just trim it off and we're just gonna make a square and go all around four sides of our window. Um, am I high enough up on the screen? Hopefully that you can see what I'm doing. Let me get another strip. And we'll put it here. So this is pretty easy, right? And who doesn't love a shaker card? Okay, last piece. So that was pretty quick and easy. Now we've got the base of our shaker. So let me get my toys out of the way. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is we need to put the inside, some of the sequins in. So this sequin, this comes in a set of three, these sequins. It comes in the pink, this little green, and this blue. And these are called Four Everything Fancy Sequins. So these are just really fun. I thought the pink would be perfect with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these pink sequins right in the middle, right like that. Look at the little, I don't know if it's silver or gold, but these are just gorgeous, gorgeous sequins. I'm in love with these sequins. They're so pretty. All right, then I'm gonna peel off the backing of our strips, and then we're ready to set it down. Okay, and it's just gonna come right on the outside of that frame. So let me try and get it in exactly the right spot, which I think that's pretty good. And press it down, and there you go. There's our shaker part, right? All right, so now let's attach our pig. And I'm just gonna do that with a little bit of seal right onto the front of the window. And I'm just getting him in a couple different places here. And he'll come right across here, like that. And then I'm gonna take some dimensionals and pop up our sentiment. Enjoy the ride. And we'll use some seal just to put this across the top right corner right like that. And then we'll just add a little ribbon just for some extra fun. One of my favorite ribbons that I always use is the white glittered organdy ribbon. And we'll just tie a bow and we'll attach that with a glue, bot, glue dot right to the corner of the card. Make this smaller. And that's it, then we have a really easy and fun shaker card. Getting this tight enough. Okay, I think that looks good. Trim off the edges. All right. Where 
right in the corner. And that's it. What do you think of our cute little piggy card? Cute little shaker card. I think that's super fun. Nothing says birthday like confetti, right? All right, let's go on to our second card. So this one I wanted, again, to add color. I wanted to use the wagon die, and I thought, um, you know, they have the little red wagon, so I thought, all right, I'm going to go with the red wagon, and then I just found some designer series paper that kind of had the red and the other colors in it. So I ended up using, for the card base, the Granny Apple Green, um, and that was one of the colors in here, and we have some crushed curry, we've got the red, we've got the pink, so I thought this paper was really fun to use. So let's get out our pieces for this card. And uh, what we're also going to use in this card is um, the scalloped dies that I use every week, pretty much scalloped contours dies. And I use this die right here just to cut out a piece of basic white cardstock for the little frame. We're going to frame our little piggy in. Okay, so that's what I used for that. Um, in addition, I use this die set again, which I use a lot, and this is the basic border dies, and we're gonna do a little clouds in the background again. So just like before, um, I die cut with that border die, just a piece of white cardstock, and you can see we've used this already a couple times. It gets bluer every time we use it, so we're gonna be using that as well. Okay, so pieces for this card, let's pull those out. Again, we've got some stamping to do. Um, granny apple green, like I said, in the usual size, eight and a half, five and a half, score to four and a quarter. This is that same DSP that I just showed you, the Celebrate Everything, um, and it has the stripe on this side that we're going to use. This is five and a quarter by four. So we'll set those aside. I also use the die, the dies to cut out the little red wagon. I cut out some little green grass to go with it. I cut out a present and a bow. And I cut out a label from that same die set. Um, two of the little black wheels and then the little handle I cut out in circle. So lots of little pieces um, for these little dies that I've already cut out. All right, so let's start by working um, with, let's do the background first and then do, we'll do the pig. So like I said, we have our basic white scallop cut out. And I wanna protect my borders on this when I put my clouds on. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of post-it tape and just put it right along the edge so I'm not gonna get any of these, um, the ink on the edges of the die. I think it looks neater that way. So I'm just gonna use post-it tape and I don't need any on the bottom because I'm not gonna go all the way down. Okay, so I'm gonna take that that I already cut. I'm gonna take some balmy blue a stamp pad and then I'm going to take one of our blending brushes, and we've used these before. Let me get a little scrap. Okay. Let me put a couple toys away. Give us some room. All right, so I'm going to ink that up and just brush off a little bit in case there's a blob over here on the side. And then I'm just going to put this in place and then just kind of lightly go over. And when I lift it, you can see it leaves that little white mark. Then I'm going to move it and put it in a different place. And we'll add the ink again. And we'll add another layer. And we're just going to go down a few times till we get kind of what we're looking for here. And each layer adds a little bit more blue to it. And I want to go almost down to the ground on this. Um, and just have the grass at the bottom. So I think this will be my last layer. I'll take a look and see if we've gone far enough. I'm gonna go down just one more. I hope you can see this on camera. I know I'm a little bit low, but I'm just gonna go one more layer on the bottom. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let me put my toys aside here and I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see it a little bit closer. And the post-it tape is just going to peel off really nicely and not damage our paper at all, which is, I'm in love with the post-it tape. It's so easy to use and I use it for everything. Okay, so you can kind of see how our cloud background came out and I think that looks cute. All right, so for this little piggy, we're going to do the one where he's holding the balloon with the birthday cake. Stamp it in memento again because we're going to be using our alcohol markers to color. 
Paint that up really good. And we're ready to color this little friend again. And I'm going to just quickly color with the same things. We're going to start with the flirty flamingo. And I'll start with the light. I love these markers because they color so fast too. I always use the brush side. Some people like the brush side. Some people like the other side. Um, I like the brush side because it has a little bit finer tip for me and because I can color faster because it has, I feel like it covers more area faster. Um, as I say that as I'm coloring out of the lines right now. So we'll just add a little shading. I want the, I feel like the tail shows up better in pink. So we'll just add a little bit and then I'm going to blend this in. And I think on the last card, I forgot to color his little hooves. I wanted to do those in the black too. Okay, so there he is again. I also used the light pink to color the cake. A couple layers of the cake frosting. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to take the Tahitian Tide in the light just to get a little different color on the candle. So just the candlestick right there. And then I'm also going to, you can see it's kind of embossed the present. I'm just going to color that in so it kind of looks like there's some blue ribbon. And it kind of turns green with the yellow, of course, but just a little bit of ribbon on our present that we have. Okay, a little yellow for the candle. And we're also, I'm also going to use um, the Crush Curry for the balloon. Or actually, do I want the crushed curry or the daffodil? I guess the crushed curry goes better with this paper. So I'm gonna just color that. I'm gonna kind of blend it with um, a little bit of a lighter yellow. Okay, um, a little tiny touch of the black just for the hooves. The silver again for the plate. And then we're gonna do our mud in crumb cake again. Okay, so I've already cut this out so we don't have to run it through the die cut machine again. So let me pull out the one that I've already done which is this one right here. So that's already cut now just to save us a little bit of time. And I think we're ready to start assembling this card. This should be an easy assembly. So we're gonna take our piece of DSP and just attach it to our card base, right like this. Okay, now let's start working off our background and we'll attach our pig. So I did cut this up a little bit. So let me get out my scissors. Um, I actually, I'm gonna cut the tail off a little bit and kind of just cut off the bottom. So I guess I really didn't have to color the crumb cake, right? And I'm gonna detach the cake because I want it to be a little bit higher up there. So let me cut out the cake a little bit and that should be good. Okay, so I'm gonna glue the pig to the wagon first of all. And I thought it'd be fun if um, the tail was kind of sticking out of the wagon a little bit. So let me just cut out a little notch for the tail. And then I'm just gonna get some glue to glue it to the wagon. And this glue is super liquidy. I'm not sure why. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to the wagon right here and attach our pig. I want him to be sitting up a little bit. So let me put his tail first of all. So it looks like he's sitting in it, right? And then maybe I can make his tail go through a little bit. Just because I thought it looked cute. I mean, you don't have to do that. And it looks like I'm having a little trouble with that. So I'll just let it poke through a little bit. Anyway, all right. We're gonna call that done, okay? 
All right, let's put some dimensionals and pop the wagon up. So I'll put one here, 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 and then I'm gonna get some mini dimensionals out for the smaller parts. Hopefully these won't show through. I'm just gonna put some on the back of the wheels. All right, let me peel all those things off. I don't like where this is placed. I'm gonna try and move this up a little bit so it doesn't show. Okay. And I'm full of glue already. All right, oh, I need to put my grass down first. I'm just gonna glue my, you know what, I'm gonna use seal because we all know I'm not very good with glue. And I'm just gonna put this border down at the bottom. And it's a little long, we'll just snip it off. Okay, there's our grass. Now we can put the wagon in the grass right about here. Okay. I'm gonna take those two little tires, the wheels that were cut out, and put those on, and then the handle as well. Okay. There's one wheel. Did I lose a wheel? There it is. Okay, and the handle that I cut out of the silver cardstock will go right there. And we'll let that dry like that. Okay, so what have we got left? A cake and a present. We'll use a dimensional for the cake. And put that up near the top of the wagon. Everybody needs a little birthday cake, right? Just like that. And then I thought it'd be fun to add a present. So we'll pop the present up as well. And then we'll just add the little red bow to the present. We'll kind of put this on the corner like that. We'll add a little bit of a red bow right in the middle. I used a glue dot for this too, but it'll dry clear and it'll be fine. Okay, so we need a sentiment. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment in real red on this little label that was already cut out. And this time it says, this little piggy says happy birthday. And then we're gonna pop everything up and add a couple more layers to the card. All right. So I'm just gonna add them right on here because I think my glue's still a little bit wet on my other pieces. Uh, hopefully, I might be too wide here, let's see. Nope, it'll be okay. just like that, and then we'll pop up our sentiment. And this card will be done. I really didn't add any other embellishments or ribbon to this because I just felt like it was enough and cute the way it was. You could add some little rhinestones or brads or something to the middle of the wheels if you wanted to. Um, that would be cute. And we'll just put this right here. And that's it. That's card number two. Of course, you can put um, your little piece of um, cardstock, a uh, nice piece of white cardstock right inside. You could stamp something on it and finish off the inside of the card as well. Okay, card number three. Okay, so this card is going to be a gift card holder. So it folds out this way. And it's just, it's really cute. Again, fun colors. So um, for this cardstock, 
I went back to the butterfly paper and this is called butterfly kisses paper. And I thought um, really fun, lots of fun colors and prints with this. And I thought the, um, the flowers would make a really cute background for this card. So I used um, this right here this paper and this has fresh freesia and it has the parakeet party and it also has calypso coral so those are kind of the colors we went with for this card okay so let's get out the pieces and start making this card I'm trying to think if I added anything else I used the scallop dies again right here for that and then for um, this up here I die cut it out of this frame right here so I did it twice once in the purple, and that's the same uh, designer series paper that I just showed you in different different patterns. And then once in the green dot. So I have the inside and the outside. And then those extra pieces I can use um, again for something else. Okay, so let's get out the pieces for this one. All right, lots of little pieces again. Already die cut out. Okay, so the dimensions on this are a little bit different. So this is gonna be the base of the card and this is just one piece and this is um, five and a half by four and a quarter and this is the Fresh Freesia cardstock that we're using. Um, then the next layer is going to be um, the DSP, the Butterfly Kisses. This is five and a quarter by four, so that's gonna go on next layer like this. And then we're gonna do um, a little trifold that's gonna go on right in the middle like that. So the dimensions for this are nine and three quarters by four and a half, and then it's scored at three and a quarter and three and a quarter from the other side, okay? Um, and then I just folded it like this, kind of a Z fold like that, and that's gonna go right in the middle, right like that, okay? And uh, I think we can just almost, well, we'll add a couple other pieces first before we finish um, attaching that. Let's put the DSP on this layer for sure. I know that part we can do. I'm gonna put my flowers right side up. So that piece is ready to go. And then let's start working on our other layers. Okay, so I've got two little piggies this time. We've got the one that we just did and I just made um, the Fresh Freesia balloon and the Fresh Freesia and the pink cake but the same colors that we used before, just like the last time. And then this little one where he's kind of wallowing in the mud is really cute, right? Um, so again, the crumb cake for the mud and the flirty flamingo for the pig. And then to coordinate with these flowers, I used the Calypso coral to color the flowers and the parakeet party for the leaves. So I've already done those to go ahead and save us time. I've colored them and I've die cut them out. So we can just put that together and save a little bit of time. So let's work on each layer. Let's do the top layer first. And we're gonna use those frames that I cut out. And so what I'm gonna do is start by putting this kind of right in the middle. This is the dot frame. See the butterflies on the other side of that paper? All that paper is double-sided, which is great because you can kind of get double duty out of everything. And everything coordinates really nicely. So I'm just gonna set that in the center. And then I want to glue the outer frame in the fresh freesia pattern on around the outside like that. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my silicone mat again because for this, I want to use my little glue pen that I use, my Zig glue pen. It's just so easy for me to get the glue on and it works so well. And I don't get it all over my hands, usually. And then later, this will just peel right off my silicone mat so it's easy cleanup. All right, so this is gonna go right here on the outside of the frame. Let me get that lined up. It's a little thin, so it's a little tricky to get it exactly perfect. I think that's good, that's good. Okay, that looks good. So that's the little frame for our piggy. Now you can pop the piggy up or you can leave him flat. It looks like on the card that I made, I left him flat, but I'm gonna pop him up because I think he looked cuter popped up. So let me get out some dimensionals. And just a few. And he's cute, eating his birthday cake, sitting in the mud. Too funny. Oops, hold on.
Okay. So he'll just be sitting right here on the border like that. And then the other thing I added was some of the flowers and it's the same die set with the little pigs. And I just cut out a bunch of the little leaves and a bunch of the flowers. Okay. So I'm going to start by um, just gluing down some of the leaves. This one's stuck. And I'm going to use the glue pen again because I'm not having much luck with the Tombow tonight. I'm getting it all over my fingers. So we'll put some in the corner here. And I cut out a bunch of these because it only takes a second to die cut these little leaves. And I thought they looked really cute. One here and then we'll put one more. Then the flowers, um, we'll glue some of them down and then we'll pop one of them up. And this last one can go here. Then we'll take a couple of the flowers. I'm gonna take a small one for the upper corner. And put that one right there. And then we'll put a couple more here. A little one and then we'll pop a big one up like that. and let's use a dimensional just on the back of this flower and it barely fits on there but it does fit and we'll pop that one on top of the other two Okay, so that's pretty much the first layer that we've got done, except we need to add a little sentiment. The next layer, all we're going to do is take this layer right here, which is one of those scalloped rectangles, and attach this little piggy. Now, because this is on the inside of the card, I don't want to pop it up. I want it to be flat. Otherwise, it's just going to add too much bulk to the card, uh, especially when it opens. So we're just going to put this little guy down here and then attach this to the card. And this will go in the middle layer part. So that's gonna go right here. Isn't that little pig cute? The little look on his face, enjoying his little mud bath. Okay, so then for the next layer, I've cut a piece of the DSP also. And I think this one was four and a half by two inches. Um, if you wanna take a notch, you can take a, a little Punch. I've got just a little punch. I'm just going to cut out a half circle here for the gift card um, to make it easier to go in and out. And this one I am going to use my glue for just around the edges here, the three edges. And that way I'm making a little envelope for my um, gift card. So I'll try and, whoa, 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 whoa. That is not the right thing. Hold on. I did not cut that right. Let's see if that's better. Okay, much better. That was some bad measuring right there. Okay, I'm also going to take a little bit of the Fresh Freesia ribbon that matches. And I'm just going to put a little bit of ribbon around here. So, let me put a little bit of seal on the back of here. And then I'm gonna adhere it to the back of the card. So let me attach it here, bring it across, and then attach it on the back of it as well. Okay, and no one's gonna see that because that's gonna be the part that we glue down. Okay, so let's do our stamping of the sentiments and then we'll finish this card up. All right, so on this little purple piece, we're going to say, go to your happy place and stay there all day, referring, of course, to his little mud bath that he's enjoying. So we'll stamp that one right here. And then the other one on the white, we did It's Your Birthday. And I'm going to do this one all the way to the side because I'm going to cut off part of it. This is a really long sentiment banner. So I'm going all the way to the left and I'm just gonna cut off that side right there to add to our card. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my pair of scissors 
and cut this right about here and clean the black ink off my hands before I get it everywhere. All right, then I'm gonna attach this to the front part Right, on the ed right up to the edge right there. It's your birthday. It looks like I got maybe a little bit of black. I'm just gonna take my sand eraser and kind of get that fingerprint off of there. Okay, our gift card part is ready. We're going to put this last sentiment on here. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add a couple of rhinestones just to jazz up the flowers a little bit. Okay. So that layer is done right there. We're ready for the gift card to go in. This layer is done right here that you can write your sentiment, your happy birthday, or your to from, whatever you like. This is the top part for it's your birthday. So let's go ahead and put that onto our card base. And I'm just gonna attach that with some seal also. And we'll center this right in the middle of the card like that. And this will still fit perfectly in our envelope. Okay, and then it just opens like that. Really cute, right? All right, let's take some of our basic rhinestone jewels and just add a couple to the middle of the flowers. You get your take your pick tool. And we'll just pick some of these up and put them right in the center of our flowers. And that just adds a really nice touch, right? Put that one aside. Oops, that one. And that one. And that is it. That is our third card. Really fun, colorful card for somebody special. All right, so we made this card tonight. Uh, we made the little wagon card. And then we made our fun shaker card with our little pigs tonight. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed these cards. Um, if you would like to make and takes this week for these cards, if you place an order of $35 or more with me um, uh, and go to my website right here by Saturday, I will send you the make and takes for these cards for free. You need the stamps because I'm not allowed to stamp, send stamped images, so you would need the stamps to complete these cards. Um, and like I said, this is on sale right now um, with the, the, um, the pigs... Uh, the stamps and the dies together you can get now that the, that's part of a special, right? Here's the host code you would use, and I'll put that in the links on my Facebook page, um, business page, and the YouTube page. And let me just show you a couple other things, and I'll show you what we have coming up next week. If you would like the project and measurement sheet um, that lists the supplies and all the measurements for these cards, just email me. And that is at sunshineandsparkles at gmail.com, and I'll be happy just to send this to you in the mail. I just found out today, and I printed this off like five minutes before I went live, that Stampin' Up's having a 24-hour stamp sale on September 15th. Okay, so I think that's Thursday, right? And 15% um, off stamps in the catalog, so that's a really good deal. The um, Paper Pumpkin just turned over this week, so now uh, the next one is this Christmas one. And this makes nine cards, three of three designs with coordinating envelopes. So if you want the Paper Pumpkin, it's going to be the Ho 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 kit this time. And then let me just show you what we're making next time. If you signed up and got the class that I was offering to make this, this is next week's live as we're going to go ahead and do these cards from the class. Um, so we have a happy birthday card. Um, a sending thanks card, you are a wonderful card. So these are really pretty cards, very easy to make because the, the designer series paper just makes it easy to cut these flowers out. They're beautiful. And we'll do this little gift bag too. So I hope you can join me next week. Thank you for watching me this week. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the week. All right.